Hi everybody, this is Luke, and as you might already know, I keep my promises. After the last frame replacement videos, I asked you if you were interested in seeing a real-life range test between the two mid-drive kits, the Tongsheng TSDZ2 and the Bafang BBS02B. And since you replied affirmatively in the comment section of my video, well, this is for you. In case you haven't seen the latest videos yet, I suggest you to check out the frame replacement ones where I give you the full picture of both builds. But just to set all of you at the same page, let me recap a little bit what happened before. If you want to skip the recap, here you have on screen where you want to jump. In July I finally reached the goal that I set for myself at the beginning of this year. I wanted to have both mid-drive motors located in the same place and, most importantly, sharing the same battery. The BBS02B was already here in southern Italy, the place where, during the 2020 lockdown, I installed it for the first time on this old red frame. This is the bike I used when I was a teenager. Good old times. Even if now it's way better, thanks to this 36 volt, 500 watt beast mounted on it. Unfortunately, I soon realized it was too much power for such a small bike. Once I fell from it, I decided to remove the motor from this one. Then I bought a new bike with 9 speed and disc brakes, on which I reinstalled the Bofan kit. Check out that video if you missed it. Meanwhile, in Switzerland, the TSDZ2 was unused, mounted on an old heavy frame. The only reasonable thing to do was to take it down, which wasn't the most difficult part. The hardest part was to find a way to bring it down to southern Italy in the safest possible way. For this reason, I packed it up on its original box, then I tied it up on my motorbike and drove down to Milan, where I delivered it to my best friend, who would I certainly go to my destination, since she needed to get married there in July. Thanks for the perfect timing, sister! Once there, and after one of those wedding parties where you eat everything you could ever imagine, the next day I was ready to reinstall the motor. Another 36 volt 500 watt kit, but with a torque sensing system. You should check out that video too. Now the battle is on an equal footing. Let's talk a bit about the battery. I already did a few range tests in the past on this channel. They were almost accurate. The problem was that, first of all, it was not a real life test. It was just me going through 10.7 kilometers corresponding to 6.5 miles in two very different scenarios. Second, I didn't use the same battery. The declared capacity of the batteries that I used was exactly the same, but we all know that if the cells used inside are not equivalent, we might have differences in the total discharge time. The only way to overcome this issue would have been using the same battery. That's why we now have the same battery plug on both e-bikes. So, Let's begin our range test. I rode the exact same round trip path, which had a little bit of everything. I went on a two lanes car way, then on a wide country road. I've also been on a quite busy seaside road, plus a little bit of pedestrian and bike lanes. The total distance was 10 kilometers times two, cause it was a round trip. I did it twice, once with the Tongsheng TSDZ2 and then, after another full charge, with the Bafang BBS-02B. I use both times the same battery. It is a 36 volt 15.6 ampere hour, fully charged at the beginning of each ride, measuring 42.3 volt. To measure the charge in volt, I use always the same method. Connect the battery to the Bafang kit and look at the value on the display. Since the Tongsheng VLCD5 display doesn't allow you to read this information. Even if I didn't use a voltmeter, what's important is that there isn't any difference in the way the battery charge is measured at the end of both trips. Of course, consider that we are talking about 500 watt motors. On the same path, a less powerful motor would have saved more energy, while a greedier one would have consumed more. Another important measurement to keep into consideration is weight. My weight is 80 kg, and you might expect a little more range in case you're lighter than me, or a little less in the opposite case. 
The weight of the bike is less relevant, since the difference is just about 1 or 2 kilos. But you should consider it as well in case you got an heavy one, like a cargo bike. In theory, with this battery you could squeeze 500 watt for about an hour. But how much watt you'll use to move your total weight at a certain speed and the way you shift your gears will, altogether, determine your final range. Talking about speed, let's just say that most of the times I was below 35 km per hour, because of other cars and some irregularities on specific trails. Only when I was on a free, flat road, I was able to stay at a constant 38 km per hour of speed. As you might expect, it all comes down to how the two kits will handle their energy. The big difference about the two motors is, as you know, the pedaling sensing system. As I already explained in many other videos that you should check out if you haven't seen them, my expectation is that the TSDZ2 kit, thanks to its stored sensing system, will be way more efficient than the BBS-02B which will be more stressed in order to guarantee the targeted values of power and speed defined for the selected assistance level. What I didn't expect was that doing those 20 km on a torque sensing e-bike was way harder than I imagined. When I was on the Tongsheng one, I felt fatigue on my legs. As a result, I used the throttle more frequently and longer on the TSDZ2 and very rarely on the BBS-02B. Still, let's see the results. The values I will show you are, of course, in volt. It makes no sense to compare values in percentage, which are both less precise and calculating differently depending on the kit you use. Volt values, instead, cannot be misinterpreted. By the way, 42.3 volt is our 100% and 32 volt is our 0%. As you can see, when I came back from the Tongshan trip, I checked the charge using my Bufang display and it showed a charge of 39.7 volt. Then, after the Bufang trip, which was way less demanding for my legs, I measured the lower value of 37.6 volt. Let's put those values in a chart to visualize the actual difference. While the TSDZ2 was still at almost 75% after 20 km, the BBS-02B charge was actually at 54%, which is more than 20% less efficient. Of course, this doesn't mean that one motor is any better than the other one. The Tongsheng kit made me much more tired, and this is obvious, because that's not the best kit to use in a mixed traffic scenario. As I said in previous videos, the TSDZ2 will give its absolute best on bike lanes and, most importantly, on gravel roads where it brings more stability and control to your driving experience. If you need your e-bike to be your everyday electric scooter, that's where, instead, you should prefer the BBS-02B. You might need a slightly bigger battery, but you have the possibility to make any fatigue just disappear. The more you help it with your legs, the longer you ride. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope you find this information useful and that you like the effort for making this content. If this is the case, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.